Hi everyone, Sarah here with Signals Everywhere, and today I'll be showing you how to set up network syncs with SDR++ on Linux to decode data using Multimon. So normally in SDR++ we have this radio module, and we can take this radio module, move it around, and normally this is going to put out audio into say your headset, your speakers, what have you. And what we can do is we can actually come down here to syncs, and this is really handy on Linux because there's not a whole lot of good um, virtual audio uh, cables for Linux, so this is really nice. We can come down to our radio module in syncs and switch it from audio to network. And then we're going to switch the protocol to TCP, and we need to change the sample rate to something that's going to be understood by our decoder Multimon. So we want this 22050, go ahead and select that. We're going to leave the port and local host alone, and then go ahead and press start. Now instead of the modulated audio going into our speakers, it'll now actually go into this network uh, sync instead. So let's go ahead and unmute the audio, and you'll see that we have the same audio slider as we normally do. This is going to be very important because Multimod is going to need to make sure that the audio is not clipping, it doesn't, you know, not too loud, not too quiet, and we need to have it just right for Multimod to give us a nice good encode. So now that we have SDR++ set up, it's time to actually set up Multimod so that way we can pipe the data into it using Netcat. So first make sure you have Netcat installed as well as Multimon and G. Once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and type in Netcat or NC localhost and our port 7355 and then we're going to pipe that data into Multimon and G and we'll specify our uh, data mode that we want to decode. Let's go ahead and press enter. And, and now Multimon is actually getting modulated audio directly from SDR++ over the network. So let's go ahead and make sure that we're correctly tuned into our frequency here. And I'm going to tune over to 144.39 MHz, that's going to be our APRS frequency, which is going to be AFSK1200. And if we don't end up getting any good decodes, well, we're just going to mess with the audio uh, input here. Just like I said before, if the audio is too loud or too quiet, you're not going to get a good decode out of Multimon. And now you can see that we're getting some valid decodes on the APRS frequency. We can also do things like change the encoder mode, so let's change this to DTMF. And I'm going to switch over to 145.1. We'll grab my radio here. And actually we can turn this gain way down because we don't need this much gain with my radio. So let's go 145.1 K8SDR, testing DTMF. And you can see that we have a perfect decode of all of our DTMF tones. And while that may be fairly simple to pipe things in using Netcat, it's also possible to use an application that I've created that will give you a, uh, a textual uh, user interface instead. So if we start up Multimon TUI here, this is going to be open source, so you'll see a uh, link in the description below for uh, where you can download a copy of this. But this is a, uh, a text user interface that will allow you to go through and select different modes and it's automatically going to pipe all of the data that's coming out of your modulated audio from SDR++ using Netcat into Multimon for you so you don't have to type and remember all the commands to actually make this work. You can just run the Multimon TUI and it will automatically connect to SDR++ for you. And of course I want to give a big shout out and thank you to all of my patrons who have made everything on this channel possible, as well as my subscribers. So thank you all again. If you'd like access to early content, um, behind the scenes, or anything uh, similar, uh, please feel free to join my Patreon, and uh, I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye!